y'all welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are new here thank you so much for joining us if you are returning you already know it you are fabulous all right so today's video this is episode 68 of our 365 day daily devotionals this is the daily devotional called jesus calling it is by sarah young it's absolutely awesome i mean it just I'm telling you, this devotional like reaches out and grabs you. I mean, it gets your attention. That's for sure. Um, if you've missed any of the previous episodes, I do have a playlist in the description box. And I guess that's it. So let's jump in. Okay, number 67. 68. What did I say earlier, y'all? Did I say 67 or 68? Yes, 68. Oh my goodness, y'all. I cannot keep up with the numbers with this. I don't know. I'm telling you, literally, like, this whole, um, I don't know how to explain it, but the grief process, one thing that I have definitely noticed is that I can't remember anything. Like, I can't, I'm not really processing anything, I don't think, right now, because it just kind of, I don't know can't really keep up with anything totally can't remember anything I don't know anyways that's definitely part of it but all right so number 68 here we go I'm gonna give you all the verses first I like to give you all the verses that way you'll have them you can just go back and look at these throughout the day see how the Lord uses them Maybe go back and, you know, read the chapter that goes with the verse if you want to in your own Bible. Okay. I believe we've got a boat maybe coming. It's actually a little ways on out there. If you can see it. I don't know if y'all saw it or not. I was trying. I tried to let you see it. Anyways, all right. Okay. Save your best striving for seeking my face. I'm constantly communicating with you. To find me and hear my voice, you must seek me above all else. Anything that you desire more than me becomes an idol. When you are determined to get your own way, you blot me out of your con consciousness. Instead of single-mindedly pursuing some goal, talk with me about it. Let the light of my presence shine on this pursuit so that you can see it from my perspective. If the goal fits into my plans for you, I will help you reach it. If it is contrary to my will for you, I will gradually change the desire of your heart. Seek me first and foremost, then the rest of your life will fall into place, piece by piece. Mm. Man, that's a good one. I feel like we need to read the whole thing over again. Like, that's that good. Mm. What a good, good devotional. You know, I mentioned that yesterday, that the closer you get to the Lord, the desires of your heart start to change. They become aligned with God's will for you, naturally. Mm. So good. To find me and hear my voice, you must seek me above all else. Anything that you desire more than me becomes an idol. Let the light of my presence shine on this pursuit so that you can see it from my perspective. Why not? Why wouldn't you want the Lord helping you? Especially if it's something that, you know, you're pursuing a new job or 
building a new house or maybe getting into a new relationship or working on an old relationship. You know, I don't know, but I'm just saying, wouldn't it be better with God right there with you? What do you got to lose? Put God first and see what you think about things that are going on in your life. Try it from his perspective and just see. I think you'd be very surprised. All right, let's do the verses. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. First Chronicles 16, 11. There are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel that will stand. Proverbs 19, 21. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Matthew 6, 33. Yeah. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. First. And all these things will be given unto you. But seek first. That's the main word in that, in that verse. Seek first the kingdom of God. And his face, his righteousness, excuse me. You got to go to God first. Don't make your own plans and decide how things are going to be and then decide to see how God, what God thinks about it. Go to God first. Start out there. Make your plans with God with you. You know you can talk to the Lord just like he's your best friend. Talk to him like he's your daddy. Tell him your plans. Tell him the desires of your heart. Get close to God. See what his plans are for you. Mm. This is very good. All right. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely does help my channel. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family and subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. All right, guys. Thank you so, so much for being with me today. And y'all have a blessed day.